day today, not much going on, so I figured I'd go take some photos and videos of my car. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to bring uh, bring you guys along with me, do some POV, so just, just to see how I do what I do. Um, any kind of critiquing, anything like that would be appreciated. I'm still learning video, um, specifically when it comes to cinematic shots, B-roll, things like that. So anything you guys have to say to put into perspective for me or what I could correct or do better, uh, leave down in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead, give me a like and subscribe. I'm just starting out. So anything and everything is greatly appreciated. All right, guys, we just got to the first location. I'm going to send out the drone and get some aerial shots. Uh, it's new to me, so we'll see how this goes. Can't forget the coffee. It's the most important part of the day. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, now we're ready for some photos. The gear I'm using today is I'm recording on the GoPro for the POV, GoPro Hero 9. The camera I'm using is a Sony a7 III. I have an ND filter on there it's adjustable it goes from one to eight stops highly recommended for daylight shooting especially if you're about to start taking video i learned that the hard way It's really hard adjusting your camera settings for uh, a black car in the middle of the day because you're exposing for both the car and the sun and it makes for a really difficult time. Just trying out different focal lengths, seeing what works, what works best for this spot. Um, I typically shoot between 35 and 50 millime millimeters and I'll just move myself to frame the photo how I'd like it. I really need to get rims on this thing. The stock rims are just not doing it for me. All right, a few more shots and we'll move into video. I love that wicker bill. If you guys are interested in that wicker bill, just let me know. I'll, I'll uh, leave the link for it in my next video. All right, before we get started into taking videos of the car, I want to go over a few of my settings in case you like the way this comes out. First of all, I am using the uh, Sony a7 III ND filter. My ISO set at 250 and I'm shooting and 120 frames per second, which means my shutter speed will be double that, which is 250, whatever you want to call it, one over 250. So picture profile I'm using is, is seven. And the Sony A7 cameras, picture profile seven gives you the best levels, if you will, between shadows and highlights and being that my car is black and that the sun is super bright today I want to have that compression so I can open it up and adjust it in post so my techniques I actually watched a lot of videos because I don't have a gimbal yet from Peter McK McKinnon and he says he gets stable video by using a strap and two hands on on the camera so three points of contact now the strap will either go behind my head 
or behind my neck and I will push out against it like so so that I can keep it stable and yeah all right first we're gonna shoot shoot landscape for the purpose of this video so planning this out I'm gonna want to walk into the car so we'll start here right and then I will go backwards also so that I have two of the same shots and if you want it to go one way or the other you can just reverse the speed so after that I'm gonna want to get a close-up maybe the front end here Let's see how I want to frame this out get my point and slow it's also good to remember to overshoot your your scene this way you have some room to play with okay here we'll go from top down I want to set my focus it's still a manual to the lens again we're in manual focus so it won't be jumping back and forth okay that looks good and do I want to go down like this do I want to stay crouched and go like this? Well, maybe a mixture of both, actually. All right, let's go ahead and start. Oh, that looks good. I've always had a, had a problem planning my shots. I kind of just winged it every time. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's do the same thing we did to the front, but to the back here. So we'll do a walking up shot and then same, same time walk back. Now what I'll do so we'll do an orbit shot of the light and part of the wicker bill. All right, what are some good, what are some other features of this car that should be highlighted? Maybe we can get the Chevy emblem, yeah? For this one, I'm gonna open up the, uh, the lens to 35 millimeter. We'll go ahead and I'm gonna do two shots of this because I don't know what I want to do with this one. I'll do a walking in. Okay. Then I'll do an orbit around it. Hmm, I just thought about this. I could be in the reflection. Let's see. Yep, I sure am. Well, that's a learning uh, a learning step that I uh, will account for in the future, but right now, uh, I'm not doing that. Let's go ahead and get some interior shots now. I'm gonna use the, the widest focal length I like, which is 35 millimeter anymore. It kind of distorts it too much and uh, yeah, this is just a kit lens, so it's not the best lens in the world. And back out. Okay. So again, we can always just reverse the speed and this will be backwards. Okay. 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 Should we highlight this SS emblem? 
go 50 mil. Yeah, maybe we'll do a little twisting action here. Something I need to practice anyway. Let's try that again. Twisting in. That might be better. We'll see. All right. Let's get a sip of coffee, man. That's always a good little time to take a break. You know, sitting back here, I just thought, I don't really have any long distance shots. So let's go ahead and take one. So maybe just a slow come up. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. And then maybe a slow come up with a turn. Hmm, that might be a little sloppy, but you know, we'll take it. I'm gonna be doing the same thing, but vertically for TikTok and Instagram reels. But I won't bore you with the second half of this video because everything I did this way, I'm just gonna be doing this way. 